Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and in this video I'm going to let you know how to skip a rank in Power BI using rank text function. Recently I was going through the Power BI community page where one user was asking that how to create a rank text function where I can skip a rank. Somehow he was not able to do that even though he was using the same rank text function over there. For some of you who don't know what is the difference between rank and intense rank then you can check the screenshot on your screen which is provided by SQL authority over here you can clearly see that rank is going to be based on one column over here it's based on the order date where you can see that first I have a row number which is straight just a number 7 8 9 10 11 12 something like that but whenever two dates are matching then how we are going to handle that so in case of rank you are going to give the same number and next to that date you are going to skip the rank that is simple rank However, in case of dense rank, it doesn't skip. It has to carry the same series like 778, not 779. So that's how it works. So in this video, I'm going to let you know how we can handle this using a DEX function where we are going to calculate a column over there and we are going to write some DEX code over there. So if this is something which interests you, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Alright guys, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our all the latest videos and updates. Now before going further, you should know what is a rank dex function. This dex function basically going to return the ranking of the current context within the specified partition sorted by the specified order. If a match cannot be found, then the rank is a blank. You should also remember the syntax of this where the first part is ties. Ties simply means that when the two ranks are matching, then how you would like to handle it, whether you want to skip it or you want to use the dense function, as I just mentioned. So based on that, it's going to calculate the ranks over there. All the parameters are optional in this index. And now we are going to check our data that the data that we have over here. So I'm in the data pane where I have the team ID. Then I have total points, which I sorted by the ascending order, then matchup week and playoff. Playoff round, you can ignore it over here. It doesn't going to make any difference. What we are going to do, first we are going to summarize our table based on this and also we are going to use the parameter ties while creating a calculated column over here. However, please do remember that I do not advise you to use the calculated column over here in the Power BI Desktop app while developing the reports. Please always try to push it towards the source where your data engineering team or data models team can create it for you. Otherwise, it may have the performance impact on your report or dashboards. Now, let's start creating from here we are going to create a new column from here and here we are going to give it a name rank week and i'm going to call it skip you can give it any name according to your own requirements i'm not going to go much into this one and here i'm going to start by writing my rank dex function and as soon as i put this bracket it's going to give me the syntax over here so first is ties that how you want to handle it you want a dense rank or you just want to skip rank so i'm going to say skip because I want to skip a rank and also by default it's going to take skip if you're not going to define it over here. After that I have to summarize it. So I'm going to use summarize option which is basically going to group by your data. And first would be your table name which is my all scores. You can see that on your this side. This is my all scores table. Let's go back over there. And then you have to write the name of the columns that how you would like to do that. So in my case I would like to use the team ID as my first column. Second column would be my total points and third column would be my matchup week. So let me write it over here. So this is going to be my summarize part. After that, I have to use order by. So how I can use in order by first you, first you need to write a simple expression over here. And here you have to mention that how you want to order by. So as I mentioned previously as well, we are going to order by total points. So let's write this total points. And now the order, like you want to do it ascending or descending. That's how your rank is going to calculate. For ascending, you have to write ASC and if you want to do this and descending, then you have to write DSC. So we are going to do with the ascending one only. So these are the two parts that we have done. But after that, you have to also use one more, which is partition by blanks. We are not going to use it over here. But if you would like to know about the blanks, you can read Microsoft documentations, which is basically an enumeration that defines how to handle blank values when sorting your data. They are default first and last. So you have to use it according to your own requirement. 
so i recommend you please do check that out and that's going to help you over here that how you can use the blanks over there now coming to the last part where we are going to mention about the partition by and here you have to partition your data whether you want by weekly or by this any other column that you want to do that so in our case we are going to do by this which mac uh, here we are going to do using this match of week and then you can close it and then we are going to close it so once you complete your text code you can either hit the return key on your keyboard or which we also call the enter button or you can simply click it over here commit so now you can see that clearly my rank is according to the total points and divided by this match a week if there would be more week then it's going to partition by this week as well so what does that mean that simply means according to this match a week every match a week is going to have a separate id over here now you would see there is one two three four five five something over there and you would notice over here that there is only two numbers which are mentioned 104 and 104 over here and here you would find the same rank for them 99 after that it's not going to go to 10 it's directly going to 11 that means it's skipping a rank however if that would be a dense rank then let's see how it's going to work over there so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to simply copy this one and i'm going to create a new calculated column over here so right click over here and here you say new column paste your code over here and rather than that skip i'm going to call it dense and here i can simply change it to dense that's all i'm doing i'm not changing anything else now i can simply hit the enter key and you would see that there is a tense so you see the difference over here it's 9 9 11 and here it's 9 9 and 10 it's not skipping the rank over here that's how you can calculate the rank and the dense rank in microsoft power bi on your data if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know and also if you have requirement of any of the training programs such as pl300 dp500 certifications or power bi training or microsoft fabric training please do let us know till then keep learning and i'll see you in the next video